No, the Coral Extended Marathon is next, and this is a two and a quarter mile naught to one ten handicap. The top one is Anne Berlin Paul Rhodes. I say goodbye now, Molly at Surfer. Shutmaster for Graham Clutterbuck. Red Wizard for Jim Murray. All or Sandman Molly at Surfer. Golden Birdie David Robertson. Rocky Nanty. Obi Wan. Afraid Stu Gray. Blue Stardew David Robertson. Tell Leslie Carla Agante. Gone Lonesome Derek Hinton. Grey Wizard Jim Murray. Force 10 Kevin Meanhan. Tamino Obi Wan. Point of Interest Alex Cherry. Rum C. Doug Warren. Frosty Valuga. Darren Howes. Dieppe for James Follis. And Capdoor Silver for Doug Warren. So nine. 19 of them then, and a number of turns to go around. It'll be interesting on this one. We might get a well strung out field. They're off and racing in the rain again. And Anne Berlin, the first one to show, but we'll want to get over to this fence. As you can see how tight these turns are at Sandown. And if you're going to be stuck wide for two and a quarter miles, you might as well go home now. And it looks like fourth 10 is the one that's come off worst on that turn, but at least he's got now through to the inside. So you can see the jockey's having to use a little bit of nets and decide to lose a bit of ground early to get into a better position in the pack rather than stay outside all the way around and Dieppe is the early leader by about a head no such worries for that one or gold loan someone is inside Capdor Silver in third is also going the shortest way around but stable companion Rum C Doug will be tearing his hair out of the jockey hasn't tapped that one over to join his stable mate looks like he's going to try and do that now then comes Anne Berlin Shutmaster and Red Wizard Rocky Nanty is after that one and looking towards the back, Tell Lizley's just the back marker, but he's on the inside. Afraid and Force 10 are also towards the rear, but it's Dieppe in the lead as they come up the sand down straight. They'll be passing the winning post shortly, and then they'll be swinging right handed for a complete circuit of the sand down track. And Dieppe will take them past the post for the first time. Gold loads on the inside is second, then come the Warren Pair, Capdoor Silver, and Rum Seeds Rim Wide. Then Red Wizard is after that one. Then there's a line of four, two in the yellow, Tamino and Rocky Nanti. Shutmaster is one of them as well. And also Anne Berlin is with that group as well as on the inside. I say goodbye now. Grey Wizard is on the outside. But they get into a more sensible racing formation now. But you can see there's a good gap from first to last of probably 15 lengths or so, maybe even more. But it's Dieppe the leader from Gold Lonesome in second. Then Capdor Silver and Rum C. Then comes Red Wizard and Rocky Nanti. Tamino's after that one. Then Shutmaster and Anne Berlin just being scrubbed along a little bit. I say goodbye now. And Grey Wizard. Force Ten's the one that's made some significant progress. And looking out the back, Afraid and Blue Star Dew are the back too. But it's Dieppe in the lead from Gold Lonesome in second. Capdor Silver and Rum C in the leading four. Not really changed much. Rumsey's got himself into a better position now, though. And they've got a little more than a mile still to race. And Dieppe is the leader from Gold Lonesome in second. Capdor Silver third, Rumsey fourth. Then comes Shutmaster. The one that's really been caught wide now is one of the wizards. It's either the Grey Wizard or the Red Wizard. If you want to tell which one it is, I think it might well be the Grey Wizard. It isn't grey, which doesn't help. <laughs> Black marker is still blue starred you. But it's Dieppe in the lead. And then Gold Lonesome second. Capdor Silver and Rum C fourth. That's been the way it's been for a long time. I say goodbye now. Shutmaster and Anne Berlin next. Then Rocky Nancy after that one. We're looking towards the back. Afraid and Blue Star Dew still towards the back. Point of interest is also out the back as well. With the second of the Moliette Surfer horses all or Sandman. But Dieppe now in the lead on his own by about a length and a half. As the... Two Warren horses have dropped away a little bit, but it's now Dieppe in the lead. Grey Wizard now swings around the outside and tries to tack over to the rail. Good manoeuvre there by the jockey, and he's got to the inside. And then Grey Wizard has now taken it up. So Grey Wizard from Dieppe. Then comes I say goodbye now. Tell Leslie's after that one. Then shut Master and Berlin's the one that's going to get big caught widest on that turn. But it's Grey Wizard and Dieppe in the lead. Grey Wizard on the outside of Dieppe. Then shut Master. Then tell Leslie and I say goodbye now. Blue Stardew is coming through the field and so too is afraid. Those two have come from right out the back. And Grey Wizard is the leader. Grey Wizard is the leader. But the Grey that's coming to challenge him now is afraid and Blue Stardew. Afraid and Blue Stardew with a back two just a couple of furlongs ago. Now they look the most likely winners. It's Grey Wizard in the lead from afraid. And Blue Stardew. Then comes Red Wizard. Fourth tens also trying to get into it. Then Golden Birdie. But now the leader's beginning him to be pressed. Grey Wizard. Blue Stardew afraid. It's almost three and a half as they go to the final furlong. Blue Stardew just pokes his head in front. Blue Stardew from Grey Wizard who's trying to fight back. Afraid he's back in third. Then comes Red Wizard. But it's Blue Stardew who's going to take it. I think Blue Stardew's been able to pull away. And up towards the line. Blue Stardew takes it. Afraid and Grey Wizard close for second. And Golden Birdie Shutmaster was up there as well. And well... 
blue stargy for David Robertson was right out the back all the way and came through like an absolute train to take it. Afraid for Stu Gray did something similar to finish second. Grey Wizard for Jim Murray looked like he'd made that manoeuvre to win the race going round the home turn but got collared in the final furlong. The fourth horse to finish has just scrolled out of my screen. It'll be back in a minute shortly, I would think. Indeed it will, and it's Golden Birdie for David Robertson, so a 1-4 for him, and Jim Murray was fifth as well with Red Wizard.